All right, when doing these inequalities, it's important for us to understand what the symbol is, all right? So the symbol is just like our equation, right? But now we we'll call these inequalities. And what this symbol says is less than, so this says x is less than or equal to six. So what, we're, what I'm asking you to do is I want you to graph this, all right? So I'm gonna kind of give you a little method that you guys can use to graph it. And then once we do enough problems, you guys will start seeing some, uh, some patterns and some shortcuts with it. But for first, let's just do, um, do the kind of uh, methodology. So the first thing, if I want to graph this, I'm going to start at 6. So I just want to say, x is less than or equal to 6, just start at 6. So you're going to make a nice big circle at 6. Okay? Make sure it's open circle. You have not filled it in yet. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pick a point to the left and a point to the right. And you can just pick nice little smaller dots. Any point? Any point. So long as it's to the left and one is to the right. And make them much smaller. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in those points into our inequality. So I'll say 4 less than or equal to 6, 6 less than or equal to 6, and 7 less than or equal to 6. Okay. So remember now, just like the warm-up, what you're going to do is determine which one is true, which one is false. All right. So the first one is 4 less than or equal to 6. Is that true or false? True. true. Okay. Is 6 less than or equal to 6? Equal to. Equal to, so it is? True. And is 7 less than or equal to 6? No. So what we do, ladies and gentlemen, is when we have a true point, we shade it in. Okay? So therefore, I'm going to shade in my big circle as well. Just remember your first point, that's always the base. Okay. So now, when we're graphing, remember when we graph like line, you know, we have a, like a line and an arrow goes through? Well, what you guys will notice is this x represents all numbers less than or equal to 6. So you could say, is 5 less than or equal to 6? Is this true or false? 5? That's true, right? What about 4.5? Yep, 4.3, 4.75. You guys see, I can write infinitely many points over here. I can keep on putting dots all over. These are all true because they're all less than 6. So instead of drawing dots for every single point, right, what we do is we just create a line. And then we put an arrow there. So that's pretty much saying all points, including six, are less than or equal are less than or equal to six. Make this true. Okay? So you graph it, it's going that way. Any questions? So it's basically just drawing a line for the answer. Pretty much, yes, with your end. Because what it's saying is all points less than six or equal to six make that inequality true. Okay? Yes? Why did you go into the negatives? Why didn't I? Just because I didn't have to. I mean, you could pick negative one. Is negative one less than or equal to six? It's true. Yeah. So, I mean, you could have. I just, I just made the normal line the way I had it. Okay, that's it. Um, 